This is uh, the CDF uh, prize distribution ceremony. So we, this was the second year we were hosting the CDF. Um, it went quite successful again, but uh, I know we had some technical glitches along the way and uh, we would like to sincerely apologize for them. We tried our best, but it was something that was happening with the providers that we were using. So, but yes, uh, uh, okay, so some statistics. Uh, we, okay, so first of all, I'll go off what the CDF was about. The CDF was a, a Jeopardy-based OSINT and reconnaissance CDF. We had in total about 12 challenges, all based on open source intelligence and uh, reconnaissance, as well as uh, some challenges required server exploitation, exfiltration, so that, uh, uh, you know, to capture the flags, and uh, some involved just searches on the internet, finding information, finding clues. Okay. Just a second, sorry. Okay. So, uh, what? It's fluctuating. <laughs> Okay, so um, in all we had these 12 challenges and across on the CDF ran for 48 hours and we had a total of 124 teams registering and out of which 34 teams actually scored. So pretty good turnout compared to last year again. And then, so we had pretty interesting challenges this year. Some involved chatbots, some involved uh, just server exploitation, web apps, two-factor authentication, things like that. And uh, this is what the final game board looks like. So I'll just scroll it again. All right, so now we will be awarding the first three teams. And I'd like to call up uh, the first team, that's team Dev Zero. <laughs> they scored 3,000 points and they are proud owners of a PlayStation 4, one Multigo license, one Hunchly license, and a Hack 5 gadget Land Turtle. So we would like the members, thank you, we would like the members to share some, uh, like their experiences of the CDF. What do you guys? Perfect. So um, it was kind of fun CTF. In the end, we couldn't solve one of the uh, challenges. Uh, I think it was Brazil or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but I think uh, I think the most fun challenge I had was most realistic as well. It's like this uh, uh, user leaked his credentials on GitHub somewhere. You could actually find out uh, what was actually leaking there. But yeah, it was quite a different challenge than we're used to, especially because it only involves like online ocean challenges instead of like actual exploitation and offline okay. forensic stuff. So it was uh, quite fun, yeah. Cool. Great, thank you, and uh, big congratulations to you guys. And so I'd like to call upon Justin and Maxi to distribute the prizes to them. Sweet. <laughs> Do you want to show it off? Uh, should we do it? Yeah. 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 All right, so uh, now going over to the second team. The second team was called Cult of the Quantum Row. Yeah, that's a big and fancy name. And they are winners of a drone, one Multigo license, and an Hack 5 gear USB rubber ducky. Do we have the members for Cult of the Quantum here? Yeah. Okay, come on. Ooh. Congratulations, guys. Okay, so um, we would also like you to share some experience. Um, and so, two of my other team members had to take off already, um, but uh, we did have we had a lot of fun with it. Um, I'd say the one of the challenges was uh, the there was a bot that we were supposed to interact with through Telegram, and it was non-responsive for like the first six hours, and it, it was really frustrating to be like. <laughs> But then, then it started working, and then it was pretty straightforward. And then also, uh, the uh, there was mention of one of the challenges where we had to find like a password that had been leaked, and that really threw me because 
I found that it, it like when you put the email address in in through uh, Have It Been Pwn, there's like five sites it's been leaked from, and it so happens that one of my databases had some of those leaks, and it's like, well, wait, but this password's been leaked, but it. He, the poor guy had multiple email addresses with multiple passwords that had been leaked. Um, so, yeah, it was very enjoyable, though. Thank you. Cool. So, I'd like to again call on Justin and uh, Maxi to give away the awards. Oh, man. Right. Oh, this one. There you go. That's a big ass award. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, so now coming up to the third team. The third team was Buffer Homer Flow, and they get a uh, Hack 5 Gear Bash Bunny. Do we have the members here? No one from the team? Yes. Okay. All right, so we'll drop them an email. All right, so that was all for the CDF. We had a fun time. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. So for the people who have won the Multigo and Hatchley licenses, you can drop us a mail on admin at reconvillage.org, and then we will send you the license keys for that. And apart from that, the problems which you guys faced in CDF were because they just come because of things which we cannot avoid. The scale at, at which people are playing, there were like more than 190 teams registered and playing the CDF. So, and then there were a few really notorious people who were trying to get the services down. I don't know for what, but then they were trying to do get to get them down. So, <clears throat> most of the time we were spending on figuring out what's going on and why is someone trying to kill our services, getting them back up again. Yeah. So, we're sorry about that, and we'll try to you know probably try to set up log monitoring and stuff like that in, in next time. Yeah. And now uh, I would like to call upon uh, Maxi and Justin to talk about Hackathon, and then we'll share the prizes. Thank you. OK, thank you for coming. Thank you for participating in the Hackathon. It was amazing. Uh, many teams involved, too. Uh, at the least, uh, we have two, two main tools, and uh, was awesome, different kind of tools, different kind of uh, points of view. We really enjoy that. Um, if you know, I'm part of Toolwas, I'm part of the organization of the Arsenal in Black Hat. It's like an open area to show um, op open source tools or community tools. And the idea is to, of course, of ask uh, start to um, starting to contribute to the community. Um, at the end of the of the week, we will publish all the tools that have been developed or have been created during the hackathon. So the idea is to start to contribute every year, uh, grow, growing up this kind of community. And thank you so much for everything. Um, okay, let's go ahead. Awesome. So. Yeah, I definitely wanted to, to thank the Recon Village guys for everything they've been putting on here, and, and just the, the talks have been fantastic. The CTF's been been a blast, and I've talked to a bunch of people that have been playing, and, and that we we're really excited about getting the, the hackathon going as well. And so it was, we we're really excited to get to get a couple of participants uh, in here earlier this morning. And if you guys were here, they they showed off the tools that they created. Um, I know that the, the tools one of the, part of the requirements for the hackathon was that everything would be open source, so that the tools are out on GitHub, um, and they'll be you know something that that the community can use you know going forward to, to help more with, with more OSINT and more recon. So really excited about it. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, get uh, announce the winners. So um, we'll start uh, with first place uh, was the, the group from uh, RTL Research. Um, so congratulations to you guys if you want to come on up. And uh, we've got a, uh, a laptop and a USB rubber, du rubber ducky for you guys. Congratulations, man. Thank you. It's yours. <laughs> appreciate it. Can you like to share something about your experience? Oh, yeah. About your experience? And about your experience. That was, I think, the first time, right? Yeah, it's a, a hackathon in a, such a short uh, window, like time frame, is a, a challenge, of course, but we wanted to make something that worked at the end of the day because it's always more satisfying to 
present the demo that's working. So we had a lot of amazing ideas who we hope maybe to uh, make in the future, like uh, over a longer time span. But the tool we made now is just like a simple, uh, I'm not going to do the whole talk again. <laughs> it's just a simple way of providing a, a, a web API, a service that people can use in order to detect whether a, a text a phone number where activation text messages are sent to are uh, known as a public uh, free text receiving message. Uh, but you can all read up uh, on it uh, on the Recon Village uh, GitHub or on our yes. GitHub. Yes. Yep. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Thanks. Thanks. Awesome. And then uh, in second place, I apologize if I mess up your name, but uh, John Swavant, come on up. He, he made a. Uh, 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 module for uh, Recon NG to do some uh, more uh, web scraping and getting some more data into into the Recon NG. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, we've got a Wi-Fi panel. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Well done. Appreciate it. Thanks. So if you wanted to. Well, I was going to say, um, I really hats off to the people who play the CTF thing because we tried to do that at first while we're doing this other one. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we tied with somebody for last place. I don't know on the CTF. So. But uh, yeah, we got a little uh, frustrated with that and just kind of gave up and focused on this. Um, my first time at DEF CON was last year and I ran around trying to get in all these places and, and so this year I was decided I'm just going to pick something and stay there mm -hmm. and actually do something. So it's, it's been a great experience. So thank you guys for you know, volunteering your time and stuff. So appreciate it.